Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Fortnite Transforming Drift Board featuring Ripe Peely. And I'll be 100% honest, the main reason I decided to pick this up was for the Peely action figure. I just think that skin is hilarious and very excited to get this. Uh, it does come with two different kind of surfboard pieces here. Apparently one is the drift board, one is the surfboard. And then there's this piece underneath that has kind of like a wind up motorized function. So you can like put everything on top of there and it should move it around. I think it looks kind of neat. You can see it does fit one four inch action figure, which of course Peely is. If we take a look on the back, you can see it says transform between drift board and the surfboard. Peely, ripe, go bananas. And then it has some other vehicles that I guess are also available. So these are from Jazzwares, I think. Yeah, Jazzwares. Which I have to say, they've been doing a pretty good job with all the Fortnite action figures so far, so I'm pretty happy with them. But, yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out of the box here, and we'll take a closer look. Up first, we'll take a look at Peely, because like I said, he was the main reason I decided to pick up this set. Now, they do have a regular Peely, just kind of a normal yellow banana, but I have to say, I really think this ripe variant is spot on. Get it? Spot on. Anyway, the, uh, the brown <laughs> spots to show the ripening of the banana peel, really well done. I think they did a great job with that. You have the Nana Nana sticker there, which I think is really fun. You do have a peg hole in the back, so if you have any backpacks or back bling or whatever they call it, um, you know, you can peg that on from other sets. None included in this set. But you have part of the peel at the top starting to peel away. I think that's a great touch. And I just love his expression. I mean, the giant eyes with the tiny little mouth. It's just, it's a great character design. I'm a big fan of this guy. He comes with this gold sniper rifle. Pretty neat. And that just fits in his hand pretty easily you would be able to switch that out with any of the other characters or figures that you might have for this line. I'm going to put that off to the side. We'll talk about articulation. Now, obviously, the banana part of his body is pretty solid, so not really any articulation there. But you do have a hinge in the shoulder as well as a rotation. And then you have a hinge and a rotation in the elbow, so it's a very similar joint. And then you can move that around. And then you do have a rotation and a hinge in the wrist as well. Be careful though because the hinge joint is a little tight on mine so I don't want it to snap so be careful with that if you decide to pick this up. You have a ball joint here in the waist. Now it feels like there's a little bit of movement like for both pieces here but I think that's just the way it's assembled. I think it's just supposed to be a ball joint there. You have a thigh swivel. You have a double jointed knee which is a nice touch. And then you have a hinge in the ankle as well as a rotation there so should have no trouble getting him to stand getting him in a lot of nice poses and I'll go ahead and give him his weapon back but yeah he looks great I love him no complaints like I said just be a little little uh, gentle with the wrists other than that he's pretty great so I'm gonna put him off to the side and we'll take a look at this uh, surfboard so yeah, it's a surfboard. There's not really too much to it. This motorized piece, all you do is peg it in. You can see, you know, it's very easy to peg in there. Lines up perfectly. So we'll put this off to the side for a moment. Oh, apparently Peely didn't like that. Stand up there, buddy. So, you know, it's a decently painted little surfboard. And that is paint. It's not a sticker, which I actually appreciate. I think that's nicely done. At least I'm pretty sure it's paint. Anyway, it looks good. But that's pretty much it. Just has, you know, two pegs on there to stand him up. And then you have this, I believe the box called it a drift board. Looks like a snowboard to me, I'm going to be honest. But <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Has the same connection. So you can easily swap out one for the other. And it just pegs on there. And it stays pretty well. I mean, it's not going to fall off or anything like that. So pretty simplistic. But we'll take a look at how this feature works. I'm going to need to move everything else out of the way because this thing really has a mind of its own. So basically how it works is you have to put two AAA batteries in here. They are not included. You just unscrew this little screw right here, pop them in, close it up, and then you have an on and off switch here. And it just sends this wheel piece just going around doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm just going to set it down. <laughs> ah. Every time. 
<laughs> so anyway, it just goes around. Like that thing just spins in all different kinds of directions. As far as I can tell, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It just goes all over the place. And like I said, if you wanted to switch this out and then go ahead and peg this on and then turn it back on, we'll see. So as you can see, it's crazy, uh, very irrational. <laughs> I think it's just, you know, set to random or maybe every couple seconds it changes direction or something. I'm not really sure, but uh, it's definitely something that if you wanted to really just let it go on its own accord, you need a lot of space. So maybe a big open section of like a linoleum floor, maybe like in your kitchen or a bathroom or something like that, because I don't think carpet would work very well. Uh, you definitely would want to put this on kind of a hard surface, but I don't think I would put it high up because I definitely think, I mean, it tried to jump off my review station a couple times. Uh, so you're going to want to be careful. <laughs> I wouldn't put it up anywhere high. I, I think it's pretty durable. Honestly, I think if this fell, I don't think it would shatter or anything like that, but, uh, it's definitely quite erratic. So just be careful with that. Now, if we bring Peely back in. Like I said, he does have uh, two peg holes there on the bottom of his feet, and then you can just go ahead and peg him in. And he fits pretty snugly. Honestly, it almost seems like it's not going to work, but then you kind of push it in. I don't know why the pegs on this are so massive. Like, Because honestly, the peg holes on the bottom seem kind of standard. And if I zoom in, it almost looks like I'm stretching them out. And you can kind of see there, like, see how there's kind of a hexagon shape to this one? And this one is a solid circle now because these peg holes are, or these pegs are too big. So that's a little weird. And I don't really feel like this one, this one might be a little bit smaller, but I feel like it's the same problem. And I don't know why they did this. It's, you make both parts of the toy. So, you know, make it, so, <laughs> I mean, you want it to be snug because you don't want them to fall off. But at the same time, you know, I don't, I don't want to stretch out the toy or eventually break the toy or make it so that he won't stand on there from time to time but it, it, honestly the peely figure is great the surfboard uh part of the of the set it's okay it's not the best um i did want to do some comparisons with other figures real quick though so as you can see scales very well with other four inch action figures we have a Soto figure here. We have a Spin Master DC Batman over here. And then this is a Marvel um, Gamerverse or, or Champions. It's some newer line that I got on clearance at GameStop. So <laughs> I'm not 100% sure exactly what that line was called. I just saw Marvel 4-inch figures on clearance, and so I grabbed them. But yeah, as you can see, all scale pretty well. Now, unfortunately, I went through and I tried a bunch of these with the peg holes on these boards and they just don't really fit because like I said for whatever reason the peg hole or the pegs on these boards are just way too thick and Batman kind of almost fits but you can tell it's stretching it out a little bit and I think the Soto peg is just way too small I don't think that's gonna work at all well he comes somewhat close. A lot of them are very close, but just a little too small. And I don't know why they made the pegs on these so big. They just need to be a little bit thinner, and they could really be fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can still pose. You know, you don't have to peg them in. You can just stand on there. Now, they're definitely in scale. You know, you could have them hold this like they're all going to the beach. <laughs> so you can still, you know, use them with. You just can't necessarily peg them onto which is kind of a bummer. But yeah, I wanted to at least just show off some scale because I think all these guys scale in together pretty great. So I think this is a fun set. It's definitely not perfect. I mean, obviously the highlight is Peely himself. He looks great. They did a great job with the paint applications to make him the ripe Peely variant, having part of the peel starting to peel away at the top. He's just perfect. I don't really have anything to complain about him. Great articulation, paint applications, design, accessories. Uh, as far as the gun goes, all great. As far as the two boards go, I think the boards themselves look good. Nicely painted, uh, well molded, good detail, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a shame that the pegs are just a little too big. They do work with the Fortnite characters, but if they were just a little bit smaller, you could use a ton of different 4-inch action figures, which I think would really open them up, and I think they'd be a lot more fun. Now, yes, 
it's not really right to judge a toy on how well it could work with other toys. I understand that doesn't really make sense. And at least it does work with the Fortnite action figures, which is what it's meant to do. So it fulfills its purpose, and that's great. This is just my personal preference. I wish it worked with other action figures as well. But it almost kind of doesn't work with Peely because they're just a little too big. Like, it works, but it's really snug, and I just feel like they didn't need to be that big. Uh, but like I said, both the boards look good. Now, the motorized component which is what I think drives the price of this set up more so than it needs to be, in my opinion, but we'll get there in a moment. It's very erratic. I think it's fun. I think you probably try it out once or twice and, you know, kind of laugh at how it goes all over the place and maybe it crashes or something like that. But it's not something you're going to keep going back to. Now, maybe younger kids would, but for collectors, I think it's something you might try out once or twice and then just kind of put it somewhere and not really worry about it again. So this set is $19.99, which seems like a lot. I feel like this set could have been maybe like $14.99, and I think if it was just Peely with the two boards, it probably could have been. Because if I remember correctly, these 4-inch action figures are somewhere in the area of like $10 to $12 on their own, depending on the amount of accessories they come with. So, you know, giving them two boards and just having it be $15 I think would have been fine. But then, you know, you're paying 5 extra bucks for that motorized function, which in my opinion... It's okay. It's not really worth it. If I could get a set without it, I probably would to save a couple bucks. But it's not terrible. I feel like, you know, okay, maybe it drives the price of the set up five bucks. It's good for a laugh once or twice, but I don't think it has a lot of lasting value to it, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, it's just, so that's what it is. So what I would say is, if you need the right Peely variant, then go ahead and pick this set up. I don't think it's too expensive. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think what you get is fun, and the action figure itself is great. If you already have the regular Peely and you don't really care about the Ripe variant, then I would say you could probably skip this set. There's not I don't think the board itself is enough of a reason to pick this set up, but if you definitely want this version of Peely, the board's a decent accessory, but not a driving force enough on its own to pick this set up, if that makes sense. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.